Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. As I've said in other videos, I wanted to start a second tiny house build. And you can see behind me, this is a camper trailer. Yes, I have purchased a really affordable camper trailer. The thing is a piece of crap. Now this tiny house build is fully fan funded through my Patreon page. So I found this trailer on Craigslist for $250. It was about an hour drive for me. So I spent a couple bucks on gas, but I got it home safely and everything is good. The brakes didn't work, the lights didn't work. It was, it was a hazards all over the place. I put a fake registration on the back. I broke laws all over the place. Don't tell anyone though. But this behind me is a 1971 Terry something. I don't know what it is, but it's, a, it's pretty old. The inside's really rotted out and it's done. But it's got a good solid frame on it, which is all I'm interested in. Now this is a 20 foot trailer from the front of the trailer to this back. The hitch comes off another three and a half, four feet and there's like a foot off the back. So I might be able to make this thing 22 feet when I'm done, if I add stuff to it. Uh, that would be the goal. But we'll see when I get down to the metal frame and see what I'm working with. And I'm definitely gonna have to bring this back to a weld shop. I might purchase a welder for $1,000 because I kind of enjoy doing that work. And it's to me, buying a welder for $1,000 versus paying somebody $1,000 to do the work I really just end up with a finished product with that versus I could end up with a finished product and a welder at the same time. So I'd rather do it myself and spend the same amount of money, but I end up with more than, than what I would have if I just paid somebody to do it. So when I went and picked this trailer up, I really wasn't concerned about the axles. All I was really concerned about was the main beams that run from the front of the trailer all the way to the back. There's two of them. I wanted to check that there wasn't rot really bad on them or a lot of rust on them. This is pretty good. It's been well taken care of over the years. It obviously has rust on it now, but it's still solid and I can build off of it. I can grind stuff off and weld stuff onto it and make this into what I need it to be. When I went there and saw it, I crawled underneath the trailer. He actually had it on a paved surface, so it was nice and clean. I was able to crawl under and look at it, and everything was very, very nice on it. When I went and picked it up, I brought everything that I could possibly need in case something bad happened. I was worried that I was gonna have a blowout on the tire, so I, bought, I brought a socket set that would have everything I could possibly need to fix any problem I would have here. An impact wrench, uh, an air compressor, air hoses, nozzles, fix a flat, you name it, anything that would fix this trailer so I could keep going and I wouldn't have to call a tow truck. I'm hoping to scrap all this metal and recoup all that money that I put into it and hopefully plus some because I'd like to put new axles on this thing. These axles are gonna be underrated for what I wanna tow. So I'm gonna to have to re-weld a lot of stuff onto this thing. On the upcoming videos, I will be, the next video I'm gonna be demoing this thing, that's for sure. So I'm gonna be taking a saw and just cutting the top half of this thing off, dividing pieces from glass, plastic, metal, and wood. Wood will get burned, the glass will go to the dumpster, plastic to recycling, and the aluminum or the metal will go to the uh, scrapyard. Now again, this is a fully fan-funded tiny house build, so it's not gonna go as fast as the last build because it's, it's gonna be slow. I mean, it took me, four or five months to actually get this trailer. So this build is gonna be slow. There's gonna be a point though where I'm gonna to have to save a lot of money so I can get it framed and closed in weather tight so that I'm not damaging the work that I've already done. Cause I will be building this outside like I did my other house. So there needs to be a point where I need to frame it and get it weathered in really quickly. So I might have to save up for a couple months. So the more Patreon supporters I have contributing just a small amount, I'm not asking for a lot, a dollar a month would be awesome. With that dollar a month, you're getting access to all my videos prior to the release date, as well as this build too, which this build might stay on, you, on Patreon only. It, it probably will end up going on YouTube, but this is all because of you, my Patreon supporters. So thank you so much. This is so cool. And it's gonna be fun, a fun project. I don't have the time for it, but it'll be cool. If this does make it onto YouTube and you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, help people find these videos and help grow this channel into something that's good. Yay, good. Are we good? Cool? Nipples hard? Yep. So I think I'll see you on the next video, maybe.